Hi, my name is Bill Potts. I'm a physiotherapist for Perfect Motion Physio. Uh, I work at the Cowdery Therapy Rooms and it's a real privilege to be part of Cowdery Wellbeing. Um, I'm going to be talking today about hip and knee pain or knee injuries. And uh, this is really uh, predominantly for those people who um, are more active. Um, and the reason, reason for this is really because in the last year or so, it's something I've been seeing a lot of in clinic. Uh, and uh, as most of us will be aware, that <clears throat> we've had more, some of us have more time available to be able to get out and be active, uh, which is a great thing, um, but can have, can have its consequences. <clears throat> And so this, this is really going to look at hopefully reducing the risk of developing uh, hip and knee injuries um, for you and giving you some little tips and things that you can look at to again reduce, reduce your risk of, of injury or, or indeed help you recover if you already have a hip or knee injury. So the uh, injuries of the hip and knee are two of the most common really amongst the active population uh, and this is especially true amongst runners but also those people who are um, doing more walking um, and a lot of the people I've seen in clinic have been simply those who uh, with their uh, additional time available they've been walking more frequently and doing longer walks uh, and as a result unfortunately they've ended up with uh, most commonly hip pain. Um, amongst runners, recreational runners um, about between sort of 30 and 79 percent of people will get knee pain uh, and unfortunately about a third of these people will end up stopping running within about six months as a result uh, and this is so this is something that we really want to try and avoid um, and try and keep you running keep you out there keeping active so um one of the main causes so uh, this is probably <clears throat> really where uh, you can start to do a lot of things independently before you can see a physiotherapist like myself. Uh, and that is looking at your, your, your training, what you're doing, your activity levels. Um, and are you doing something every single day? Um, and, and how have you gone into um, those new activities, especially so if you've taken up running? Um, have you sort of just started up straight away uh, put your trainers on and, uh, and gone for sort of a, try to do a five, ten kilometer run uh, and do that on a really regular basis. Um, so really important you look at uh, look at your exercise schedule through the week and your activity levels um, in general and try and ensure that you have a couple of rest days. So um, it's sort of, some studies have shown uh, people that uh, don't have at least two rest days in the week increase their risk of injury by about 520%. So it's a huge increase, huge increased risk of, of injury. Um, and so really simply by looking at how much activity you're doing and trying to ensure that you have at least two rest days in the week um, where you might just be doing some stretching, um, but otherwise no, no real physical uh, exercise of note, um, then that's, that's really crucial and something that you can do quite easily. Um, Again, um, be aware that you, you should include um, not just your running activity or your walking, but also other activities such as gardening, if it's something that's really physical uh, or physically demanding. And so do take that into account as well um, within that training program. Um, outside of this, uh, really looking also at muscle length and strength. So again, key, key things that uh, I tend to see when I assess people in clinic um, is that they tend to be, uh, people tend to be tight and a little bit weak in their buttock muscles and tight through their hamstrings and again sometimes a little weak in that area uh, and uh, especially with, with uh, knee pain um, really tight through their quadriceps muscle and again sometimes some weakness in that area. Uh, uh, there is a video that's going to be associated with this which takes you through uh, a little exercise session, just targeting a few of those muscle groups, uh, both for some strength and some stretching work. And uh, you can kind of do this, certainly if you're, if you're pain-free and if those exercises are pain-free, if you try them, um, then do those. It'd be a great, great little start for you uh, to help reduce your injury risk. 
Um, if you are currently suffering some, from pain at the hip or the knee, um, then maybe you might want to first have a, um, a visit with a, a physiotherapist just to check that those exercises are going to be appropriate for you. Um, otherwise, you can give them a go uh, and uh, again, it may well help in your recovery uh, from, your, from your knee or hip injury. Um, <clears throat> so in terms of going back to, to muscle, muscle length and strength, um, some of the things you can really look at doing are, are really quite simply stretching your quadriceps, hamstrings uh, and buttock muscles uh, and really making sure that you do this after exercise. So when you've done your, your, you know, your running, your long walks, uh, physical activity or more, more phys physical activity in the garden, and then you can look at uh, or really try and make sure that you are stretching and generally try and stretch on a regular basis. And uh, a lot of the time, this will this will help uh, really reduce the likelihood of those soft tissues becoming overloaded. So most um, most injuries <clears throat> really that we see at the hip and the knee are related to uh, soft tissues and tendons. So the muscle and tendon not coping with the loads and the forces that are, that are going through them uh, and becoming irritable and consequently causing pain. And uh, again, these are. This is why we try and get you to look at your uh, training schedule uh, and then alongside that, look at doing uh, a regular stretching program and some strengthening as well. So I hope that's been a little bit of, uh, of help for you, uh, some good information, things that you can take away and, and potentially look at to help reduce your injury risk. And as I said, there is a, a little exercise session uh, linked with this video. Uh, so give that a go. and. Hopefully you find it enjoyable and uh, yeah, see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.